Who are you and what are you doing? Uh, David Walsh, uh, doing a cycle from Belfast to Cape Town and it's an aid of the Parkinson's Association of Ireland and I was talked into this by a good friend Ed and the reality is that uh, I can sit here and just wait for this illness to catch up with me or I can just get on with life and do things that I'll never forget so I essentially decided instead of being here next year paying bills and working part time I'm just going to go out and do something that I'll never forget. Well, the route is uh, 20,000 kilometers and it begins in Belfast uh, to Cove which is my hometown and then it goes from uh, Paris to Cairo, Cairo to Cape Town over the course of uh, about six to seven months, hopefully. Yeah, I do think you need a degree of madness in this one, but I, I, I believe I may just already have that anyway. You know? Well, you know, I, I suppose you can get frightened if you think about these things, but the reality is there's a beginning and an end. And I mean, over the course of six months, you think about it, you could be, as I said, you could be sitting at home with your feet up, watching television, or you could be out doing something that, you know, invariably anybody, anybody can do this. And I mean, to be honest with you, staying on the bike pretty much every day kind of hel helps me health-wise and such. It seems to improve my, my symptoms and gets me through the, uh, you know, the, the day or the week or the month or whatever the case may be. So, you know, I just decided let, let's do it on a bike rather than do it on a motorbike. And I think the dexterity in my left hand as well, anyway, wouldn't allow me to to operate a motorcycle safely. Um, so I just feel comfortable on the bike. Well, one of the motivations was the, when, obviously before I was diagnosed and I learned about uh, Michael J. Fox having the illness, I think it became a very popular illness from that point of view by virtue of the fact that, you know, himself and Muhammad Ali and a few other people were diagnosed with this. Uh, he's been a great ambassador and I think he's, uh, he's been a huge influence on, on, you know, raising money for research and potential cures and, you know, uh, basically making people's lives easier. Uh, when I read his first book, um, I didn't know really what to think, but I kind of, you know, I jumped on board with the idea that, you know, here's a guy who had everything going from, you know, magnificent career, beautiful wife, beautiful kids, the whole lot, and all of a sudden he gets dumped into, you know, uh, and, and, and really a horrible situation to be in, but he's made the most of it and it's kind of encouraged me to, you know, just to move forward and get on with life and uh, just get on the bike and do what I can do and raise as much awareness and money as I possibly can for this illness and, and you know, in turn, keeping fit. I think it's very important for me to stay healthy on this as well. So I'd have to, you know, say that, you know, Michael J. Fox in his circumstances certainly was a great influence on me. So, a bit of background on yourself, what's your... Uh, 44, as of two weeks ago, uh, from Cove in Cork, um, living in Dublin about 14 or 15 years and was diagnosed just over a year ago, but truthfully I've been suffering for about, I'd say, six or seven years anyway. You know, the harder it pushes, the harder I push back. You know, obviously my energy levels are, are ridiculously low and, you know, balance and various other things go as well, so... But I mean, look, as, as bad as it gets, you just, you just keep going and you get on with life and that's it, you know. You know, uh, Muhammad Ali, for instance, as well, you know, suffering from Parkinson's as well. Again, you know, I'd, I'd look at these, uh, certainly a gentleman like him, and, and realize that he, he doesn't suffer from the illness because he doesn't, you know, he doesn't let it affect his life adversely. Uh, it's quite sad to look at him and see the, uh, the way the symptoms have grabbed hold of, you know, one of the greatest fighters of all time. But I mean, the reality is he just moves forward again, and he's a very positive person by all accounts. And I believe, too, he is the president of the Parkinson's Association of Ireland, if I'm not mistaken. You know, it's, it's just great to be involved in any way or manner and be able to just uh, do as much as I possibly can and take as much inspiration from people like himself that I possibly can. Again, I'm out about, you know, four to five times a week. I'm in the gym about three to four times a week as well. So I try to average about 100 miles a week if I can. Um, again, it's, it's a little bit more difficult because my energy levels in the left-hand side of my body don't work the way they generally should. Uh, when I was a child, you know, I played a lot of basketball, played a lot of Gaelic football, a lot of soccer. I was always very active, to be honest, and uh, I've always kind of had the... Uh, I suppose the luxury being a bit thick in the sense that I always thought that brain beat brawn and in this case I think this you know this could work for me in that sense and I you know I'm adamant too that I stay as fit and healthy as I possibly can because if there is indeed a you know better medication in the future or you know the cure hopefully uh, I want to be in the best shape of my life when this comes so that I don't have to kind of go through re rehabilitation and so on and so forth you know well the friends and the, my friends and family have been very supportive about it I mean everybody's bang on board you know my family are 100% behind me on this and I think you know you know they're very proud and uh, it's just it's get on with things and I mean there's no point in complaining because nobody wants to really hear you complain and I figured that out very quickly you know so the idea is just to be as positive as you possibly can and move forward and they all think I'm a bit nuts, to be honest with you. But I mean, the reality is, is that nobody wants to see you sitting down and just wasting away. So I mean, it's just, it's a matter of moving forward now and, and just getting on with life as best you can, you know? When I was diagnosed, I went through an initial low period, but then I realized that I just didn't have the finances to remain in such a situation. I mean, the reality is you have to get on with life and you have to push forward. And you know, nobody's gonna help you unless you help yourself. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong, my family are there. If I need to fall back on them, I will, but essentially I don't, I, I don't tend on doing that ever if I can help it. I mean, I've gotta become self-sufficient.
you know, I'd love to give everybody a hug. You know, I mean, I really would, like uh, people with Parkinson's and such, but the thing is, there's not too many people that I've met. Uh, so actually, there's none that I've really met around my own age. I mean, I've met some people who are, you know, considerably older than, than, than I am, but they seem to have just been, you know, forgotten about from the point of view that they're old anyway. You know, you just, you got to keep looking forward. You got to keep moving on. And, you know, regardless of your circumstances, I mean, having Parkinson's, uh, I don't consider it to be an affliction. I consider it to be an opportunity at this stage. And I've just got to look at it from that point of view and, and you know, just, just be cool about things and just get on with things, you know? But, well, I would hope to come back as a change man from the point of view that, you know, I mean, this is an experience that's a once in a lifetime experience, but I, I also plan that when I finish this, that, you know, what am I gonna do next? I'm gonna have to think of something, you know, equally as crazy to, 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 to carry on with again after that. So to donate money or just to follow my trip from Belfast to Cape Town, uh, just log on to parkinsons.ie. As I said, this, this illness is not gonna define me, but I think what I decide to do from now on will define the person I am. You know?